Hi everybody. You know your iPhone or iPad when you connect it to your computer it does a full backup of all your applications and games. So it, it backs up basically the levels you played in a game and all your settings in the applications. So what if you restore your iPhone and you say okay look I just want to restore this particular game like let's say for example Fruit Ninja. You want to restore just that one game with all the levels on it. Well you can't. It won't let you. It will actually want to do a full restore of all the applications and all your settings. You can't pick and choose which application you want to restore. Well I'm going to show you in the next few minutes a quick little application that works on Windows and on the Mac and will allow you to go ahead and back up a particular game or uh, application that you might have and that way you can back up the settings of that particular uh, app or game and you won't need to jailbreak the phone or the iPad either. Basically you can grab the device, connect it with your 30 pin connector and uh, to the computer open the application and it'll show you the apps and you can back it up. I will show you step by step so you can see it and uh, on my website at aramistech.com you will find all the links to download it and any explanation that I don't have here or any technical details that I don't have in the video. Thank you for watching as always I appreciate it. The first thing we want to do is open up your web browser and go to macroplant.com. Once you go there click on the downloads link on the top and it's going to take you to a page where you're going to have a bunch of options of programs that they have. The one we're interested in is the iPhone Explorer application. So when you find that in the list, click on the link and it's going to take you to a page where you have several choices to download. You'll be able to download for the Mac or for PC. In this case, we're using a Windows computer, so we're going to download the PC version. Once you click on the download button, it'll bring up the uh, pop-up window. Save it to somewhere like your desktop so you can extract that file once you uh, download it. In this case, that's what we're doing here. We're going to save it to the desktop. And it's a zip file, so we're going to go ahead and minimize here and extract the file. Inside there, it would be the uh, .exe folder, the actual application to run the program, the iPhone Explorer. So once you extract the folder and open it, you'll find there the iPhone Explorer software. Double click on it to uh, install it. And just follow the prompts to run it. It's going to give you an option at the end if you want to actually run it after the installation and it's going to create a shortcut on your desktop. Leave that the option to uh, open up after you run it to so finish. It will bring up a splash screen and then the program will open. Connect your phone to a 30 pin connector on the USB con uh, computer and uh, you will see all the files that come up on the phone. You might get an error at times that when you click on a folder, let's say you're trying to access something, it gives you uh, a directory error. So you'll see that you click on any other option on any other folder and you'll get the same error. This is normal. It has happened to me several times. Uh, but all you have to do is just go ahead and uh, when that happens, you're going to go ahead and unplug your phone from the cable. And once you unplug it, plug it back in. And once you plug it back in, it'll detect it and it'll pick it up again and the problem will be solved. You'll be able now to go to any other files and access them directly. Uh, what I like about this is that it shows the names of what the application is and it's easier for me to find it. In this case we're going to use uh, Plants vs Zombies to show you. Uh, Plants vs Zombies has a folder called Documents and in there this one's called User Data. And in the User Data is where it saves all the saved games. This one's empty, it doesn't have anything yet. But I have a copy here of one I backed up uh, earlier on my other phone. And here's the application. And when I go to the User Data there's all my saved games. So I want to import that into the uh, one that I have now. So I'm going to import the saved games that I have into my game now on the other phone which has no saved game on it. So I just copy them all and drag them in the window and it's going to copy them onto the phone. Once that is done, all the applications will be there. So all the uh, levels of the game actually are going to be there. So Plants vs Zombies will have all my levels. And that's pretty cool because now I don't have to actually replay the whole thing all over again. I, I have them all there. Um, the same goes in reverse to save them again. If you want to do the opposite where you want to save them from the phone, uh, you would go exactly to documents and uh, open it, you know, the application, go to user data for example, and there you have your saved games. So you would grab that folder, drag it to your desktop for example, and it'll make a copy of that uh, data. So now you have your saved games. And you can put them on your iPad or you can put them on your other iPhone or iPod and so you don't have to play all over again. Also if you click on the uh, directories here it will show you um, stuff that you can actually access like the pictures folder and music folder. You can actually access stuff right in here without jailbreaking the phone which is pretty cool. 
This works on the iPad, iPad 2, iPhone, and uh, basically all the devices. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.